acrylics welcome to my channel i'm going to talk really fast because i'm feeling the time pressure man i only have 15 minutes um welcome to the after fab collab huge shout out to trusty for pulling this together with students that came to the fluid art boutique i know i have the warm and fuzzies and so do sarah kathleen and mina thank you guys so so much and let me get you down i'll see you on the flip side Yeah. All right, put that to the side. So, I was saying earlier how when I teach deconstructed blooms like at Fab, um, or when I teach Blooms 101, I give students these little Walmart brand um, Lazy Susans to take home. They're not the best spinners, um, but they're they're good for beginners, you know what I mean? So I did that and um, it occurred to me, you know, months and months and months later that they make great little stands. And I don't know why I haven't done it. Not necessarily for spinning because they don't go very fast, but for moving your canvas around when you're using the hair dryer and for um, checking your composition. What are you? Hold on. I see something in there. Go away. All right, just a couple little bubbles. There's something else. I never trust the paint when you get down uh, near the end because that's when you find glumps of stuff. The rest of it looks pretty good. All right, let's try again. So yell out the colors as I go. The first one we have is Cronacridone Nicoiso Gold. Colors brands, pouring medium recipe, coupon codes, social media links, a link to my Patreon account. All the good stuff is in the description section. Just click on the title of the video. This is Permanent Violet Dark by Golden. Followed by a this little piggy pigment in enchantment, which it is enchanting. Followed by another piggy. This is caramel drizzle, which is gonna make me want to go get ice cream. And then we're gonna top it off with some golden iridescent gold, uh, bright gold. And I'm gonna use lamp black as a cell activator. No double layers or anything today. Just rather straightforward. And cool air, high fan. Here goes. No shredding allowed. All right, so far so good. And I'm loving that I can turn this when I'm using the hair dryer and just kind of kicking myself for never thinking of that before because I do it in class and why I haven't been doing it at home is beyond me but that's okay I think we're just going to do two blooms today so I'm just going to put the other one right smack in the middle here that's all collecting in the middle um what do we do next permanent by the dark If uh, you were a student at FAB, uh, check your email over the next couple of days. You'll be getting one from us with a survey. Um, it'll be, you can take the survey anonymously so that you can be dead honest with us and tell us what went right, what went wrong, um, what you loved, what you hated, et cetera, et cetera. Tell us about the venue. Tell us about weekday courses, all that good stuff. Um, we want to hear from you and you definitely have a voice. So let's go back to Caramel Drizzle. Yeah. And then the bright gold. All 
right, same deal. Cool air. High fan. Loop. Here it goes. Good grief, you guys. I don't think I want to de deconstruct it. It's, uh, I mean, if I could, I would leave it sit just like that. I can't because there's a hell of a lot of paint right here. Um, that little blowout I did right there to get the uh, Nicoleso Gold to go yellow, super pretty, and I love it in here as well. Uh, Maybe I got I got to tilt some off because it's just so much paint right there. So let me just go. Yeah, see all that paint? I can't leave that sit there. So just let me take some off this side here, and then bring it back, and take it off the other side as well. Even though I don't want to, it's got to go off. Like a bunch of it has got to go off. Oh, it's shredding again. Son of a bee. What is going on? I'm so mad. This whole part here. That little tilt. Shred, shred, shred. Shred, shred, shred. What the F, guys? What the F? Huh. It's got to be the house paint. Like, maybe because it's old. I, I mean, it's been capped. It's pretty free-flowing. <sighs> Let me see if I can save this painting. I'm just going to give it a spin. I'm uh, seriously annoyed now. Seriously annoyed. Maybe if I spin it real carefully. Um... I don't dare try to stretch things. And it was so pretty. See, these don't go very fast. So they don't like make a big mess and go flying all over my kitchen floor. So I'm sorry for all the spinning. That does seem to be working. I'm getting rid of paint. I see all the shredding on the, on the sides of my canvas. This is still pretty. I was gonna do a couple more and leave it be. Super mad though. Got a little bit right here. Let me go the other way, try to save this. Another one, it's still running down the sides. That house paint was fairly runny too. Let me stare at this. Whoa, like this is amazing. It is like shredded in here a little bit. Um, I think right, like right in here when I get you guys down for a close up. And in here, I feel like you know, I, when I go to Home Depot, I have all of my receipts emailed to me. I feel like finding that one and taking it back. But, you know, they're going to be like, well, lady, it's meant for walls, not for art. So, I don't know if they give me my money back or not. I'm also debating about this hard line right here, if I like it or not. So, I'm going to stare at that a second. Let me put, oh, so you can't see the whole thing. So if I put it like this, I mean, the bottom is just phenomenal. It's this, but I kind of, I'm torn. I sort of like it and I sort of don't. But if the orientation is this, I don't know if you'll see the whole thing in a frame or not. But I just want to show you this. Like, do we like that? If this, if this is the top of the painting and this is the bottom, then it's kind of cool. The blending of the colors is great. 
Um, I'm gonna grab a skewer and see how much paint is left on on the canvas and get rid of like this little pointy thing right here. And just kind of blur that in and maybe blur and take it off at the risk of, you know, making the paint shred some more. I like have a memory of this happening to me before in like some older video. Um, I will save my colors to touch up things. Yeah, that's softer now. Yeah, I'm gonna call this and say, ta-da, and then uh, never use Glidden again. I'm sticking with my PPG Multi Pro, y'all. Not happy. Yep, let me clean up and get you guys down. All right, here's a close-up of the wet results. You can see the shredding, look at that. Like every color, except for like the cell activator has shredded all of it now this is pretty enough that if i can fix it i would frame it because it's gorgeous that's despite shredding aside it's really pretty this is the bottom of it um there's just no denying the cells it's just so pretty and i'm this part up here where it's shredded a little bit what i'll do is i will probably dilute some Cronacridone Nickel Azo Gold, mix it with a little bit of white, get it runny and glaze that area over and fix it. I know I, I've done that before. I know I can fix it. I love this here in the middle. Really pretty, the little break. And then super pretty up here as well, fading off. So no real shredding up there. Um, but good grief, how annoying. Let me turn it sideways so you can see the composition. And yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one, but holy hell. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for hopefully the dry results. Today's Wednesday. It should be dry by Saturday. Yeah, stay tuned for the dry results. Hey guys, I do have the dry results real quick for you before we hop over to Brian's channel, Brian's Upper Valley Artistry. He's up next. And then after him, it's Garrick Brown from Garrick Brown Art Studio. And after that, I don't know, I lose the bubble. <laughs> but anyway, real quick, here's this guy. It still has like the, the shredding on the ends. I'm just gonna live with it. It just, I don't know. It kind of makes it unique, I think. That's what I'm going with. Here's a close up of like that one there and this one here. You hold it back that's the whole thing it glows i mean look at that you see it yeah anyway thanks for watching thanks for tuning in i hope you guys enjoy the premieres today and next weekend i'll see you next time please like share and subscribe peace out